guys, it's Queen Bija, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episodes 9 and 10 of Kuma Kuma, uh, Kuma 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 Bear. Scotty get started with episode 9 and 3, 2, 1, go. That's a little loud. Oh. oh. Oh, they're trying the pudding or something. <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder how long that took you to make. Uh -uh. It was worth it. I wonder if we're going to meet that chick tonight. Because, I mean, we have, like, two more episodes left before we're done with the show. And she's got to at least come out between episodes nine to the finale episode. So, hopefully, that comes true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so are we just gonna keep this bear house also here at the kingdom just in case y'all wanna come over at some time <laughs> seriously I don't think so either. That was so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> the cutest day ever. Oh my god. <laughs> Mm. 
Uh-huh. I mean, she still could, but she could just have the workers work for her, and then she's still able to go on adventures with Mina. Oh, don't worry, I'm hungry too, but I don't think I'm going to be able to eat until later. Oh, don't worry. I think Yuna has a plan. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> Still to be able to continue what you love. No, it's fine. Mm hmm. Because she's nice. That too, but she's nice. <laughs> Listen to your daughter, Cotton. She wants this opportunity. Take it by the hand and grab it. And don't let go. Now, you know the king is going to come down all the way just to...
Yeah. I mean, but you know, multitask. You can do it. It's fine. Oh my! <laughs> you know what the hell? Well, at least you might have like bedrooms as well for themselves. Honestly. I mean, hey, be happy. You got that upgrade. <laughs> so much sense. uniforms. <gasps> well, they like it. <laughs> yeah, it's cute. There you go. That's the name.
Mm-hmm. Possibly, yes. It's just made me hungry. God damn it. <laughs> oh, look at that pizza. Oh my god. I want food. Just. I want some pudding. Hmm? Oh, poor Noah. <laughs> They don't want to accept it. Mm -hmm. 
you know, does so much nice things for people. And, you know, having someone do something nice for her, like, ah! Oh. This was cute, oh my god, but still, I'm hungry. I want food. I'm not gonna be able to eat until like 3.30, but oh my god, like seriously, this was the cutest fucking episode ever. I mean, seriously, Yuna does a lot of things for people. Sweet, nice, generous opportunities that she gives someone. And in a way, you know, everyone doesn't, there, there's times where you feel like, People don't give back to Yuna, but in a way they do. I mean, like, it was nice of her to get the deed and everything and be like, here, you guys take this, you guys go back to the capital, back to the kingdom, and you're, be you're able to have your shop again. But uh, the fact is that Karin and her mom were like, you know what? It's time for a new chapter. We like it here. The kids, you know, want to eat here and stuff. Like, ugh. Cute. Oh my god. Like, always take opportunities. Like, no matter what. Like, Jesus Christ. But yeah, I'm hungry. I want food. But I hate the fact that I'm not going to be able to eat until 3.30 because I got to finish all this stuff. But that's okay. It's going to be worth it. And when I eat my orange chicken that I made last night, which was so freaking good. Honestly, I want a hamburger too. I want a hamburger and some fries and some pizza and some pudding. I've been, like, God, what have I been craving? I've been craving pizza a lot, and I'm like, uh. I want it. <laughs> but it was so cute. Like, honestly, I didn't think that she would have made the shop, like, so freaking quickly. Because, you know, as someone who still is on Volume 1, and I'm guessing that doesn't co happen until, like, at least Volume 4, um... I can't wait to read about it and such to see what the difference is in everything was because I haven't read in a while and I want to read. So I'll probably end up taking this opportunity as well during this week to read the book and try to finish book one so I can start book two. Uh, but yeah, this is a cute episode. Even like Fina and Yuna hanging out, going on a date and everything. Oh my god, it was just so fucking cute. Like, I, I can't. My heart. It was too much. Like, stop. Like, oh. Baby, so fucking precious. But I'm guessing from the title for the next episode is we're gonna have like a pirate episode for the week. Honestly, I'm not mad at it. <laughs> but go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 10. Okay, episode 10 in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh my god, it's so cute! It looks like a beautifier. Oh, it's a phone! <laughs> Where did you go? Oh my god, where the hell are you? <laughs> oh, you know, hey. 
She's taking an opportunity. <laughs> I never would have thought that she's like, yeah. I want to go out of bed when it's gone. <laughs> oh, my child. Mm. My Junko from Zombieland Saga. <laughs> Girl, no. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> I think she made a phone. Oh my god. That's so fucking cute. I'm thinking it's a humidifier that is gonna pop up some air and message shit, but no, it's a phone. Oh my god, that's so cute. Like, stop. Oh my god, I can't imagine. Like, I might have to go on uh, Mirkart and see if they have any merch of this show. Because I want merch besides, like, a freaking buck. Oh, my God. Thank you. Well, you can always go fishing. Hell, as somebody who misses having fried shrimp, like, oh, I would love to eat that again. But I mean, like, I'm still looking for like vegan or vegetarian shrimp. Who knows? Mm-hmm. So we're seeing the story of her before she comes <laughs> up to the mountains. Mm -hmm. And seafood is expensive. I mean, just like think about regular old meat. Yeah. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Nothing.
Yeah, what happened? Did it eat all the fish? Okay, so we just need to kill the Kraken, right? Fine. Easy. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. True. Yeah, may as well take him. Seems very empty. Oh, well, there's some people. Mm -mm. Because of the Kraken. Not a lot, ain't it? <clears throat> but it's not enough. Mm -hmm. He is right. But still, you guys are being cheap about it.
You know you gotta do something. It's nine o'clock. It's five o'clock somewhere. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. And something tells you me after you're done drinking, you probably do sleep. Oh. <laughs> you don't have like a freezer or anything? That's nah, fine. Uh-huh. Oh, and of course he's gonna get pissed. Swipe. <laughs> oh, don't worry. She's got a problem for that. Mm -hmm. We got a solution. Mm 
Mm-hmm. A little more happier. So how the hell do you feel a cracker now? I mean, but if she kills it, y'all can have fried squid or, you know, anything. That's something Yanni and Kiana would do. What's wrong? I <laughs> like you were able to do that. Excuse me.
So I'm guessing probably, well, there's a little bit, but something tells me we're going to see how this story ends with the last two episodes. But for real, honestly, this was a really good episode. The town, this little small town, this honestly reminds me of like a small town in Italy, even though your girl has never really traveled outside of the United States. Um, but it's cute. Oh my God. But yeah, how the hell is she still? Okay, so you have the problem with the thieves solved. Now the big problem is the Kraken. Like, what are you going to do with that? And hopefully episodes 11 and 12 do give something on it so that she has a way to defeat it. But I'm guessing because of the fact that she you know, can't use fire powers underwater and it barely works. So maybe, like, the Kraken just has to pop up and then she goes like, da 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 or something and the next thing you know it's, like, gone and, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, she could do anything. I mean, she's OP as heck. So, it'll work for Yuna. If it's not one thing, she's going to try, like, multiple different solutions before she finds the right one or the correct one or the one that she deems the most worthy. But, yeah, uh, meeting What's-Her-Face finally, awesome. Thank you, because I kept wondering when the heck she was going to pop up. But it was so cute. Yeah, fight squid. <laughs> I hate the fact that I gotta wait. I'm probably gonna end up watching this episode either, these next two episodes, either on Thursday or Friday, depending on, like, my schedule and everything and what all is coming out and such. But, yeah, both of these episodes are freaking adorable. Like, oh my god, just seeing her in the snow and she's like, yeah, because I want some seafood. Like, mm, I'm gonna do this, this, that, and the third to get some seafood. Meeting people and taking them home to their families, getting them everyone food. Like, oh my god, like, ser like seriously, she's just too nice. And I love that about her. And she's so sick, fucking sweet. I can't. I'm a nice person. I'm like, I'm hella too damn nice. But, so, you know, some people will like to walk over that niceness, and that has happened to me in the past. And so, I kind of hope and pray, like, especially with these last two episodes of season one, plus whenever the heck we're going to get season two, because the show is confirmed for a second season. Um, if we're ever going to get a moment where somebody possibly walks over all of, um, all in you and his niceness and such, and kind of, like, almost was really, um kisses her ass like a lot like you know something like that but who knows it might not even happen but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episodes 9 and 10 of kuma 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 bear if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join my uh join the magical squad <laughs> and of course i will see you guys officially y'all next wednesday for the final two episodes bye guys